Now before we start to answer the next part of this question, I've updated the probability density function with the value of a that we found in the last part, 5. So we're told then without calculating e of x, and e of x remember is the mean, and with reference to the skewness of this distribution, state giving a reason whether e of x, the mean then, is less than 3 or equal to 3 or greater than 3. Now first of all it cannot be 3 and the reason for that is because if it was 3 we've got the mode equals the median equals 3. If e of x the mean was 3 we would expect this probability density function to be symmetrical about 3 and clearly it's not. Clearly we've got different shapes of curve on either side of that 3 for instance. So e of x cannot equal 3. Now when we look at the skewness of the distribution now, we see that this part of the probability density function, the red part here, is longer than this part here from 3 to 5. So what we've got is negative skew. Let's just put that in, negative skew. Now when you have negative skew, you can always expect the mean Let's just put therefore the mean is always less than the median. And since the mean is given by e of x, then e of x must be less than the median, which we were told earlier was 3. So e of x is less than 3.